Welcome to the High School Football Pigskin Show. I'm your host, Michael Anderson. Hello, this is Michael Anderson, your host. Uh, this week I'll be doing a pick. Uh, Stevenson versus Creekside. Both teams are traditional powerhouses. They believe in winning. However, I'm going to go with Stevenson. I think that Stevenson has a very stout, stout defense as well as their offense is pretty good. So I'm going to pick Stevenson this week. Good evening. My travels take me to Creekside Football Stadium located in Fulton County, Georgia. I'm here to witness the contest between the Stevenson Jaguars and the Creekside Seminoles. Both football teams have winning programs. They fight very hard. They're very athletic and they're hard-hitting football teams. So this should be a great contest. Stevenson is led by Chauncey Rivers, defensive end, number five, six foot, one and a half inches, 252 pounds. Creekside is led by Jason Stanley, wide receiver, number 11, six foot, three inches, 202 pounds. Unfortunately, Jason Stanley was injured for this game. At the top of the first quarter, after the opening kickoff from the 17-yard line, Stevenson's 24 busts up the middle for a huge game. From the 41-yard line, Stevenson throws a pass to number one for a large game. From the 47-yard line, Stevenson hands the ball off to 24, and he busts up the middle for a huge game. It appears that Stevenson was having their way with Creekside. Stevenson hands off the ball to number 24, and he rumbles in the end zone for a Stevenson touchdown. Stevenson attempts a two-point conversion and is successful.
after this DVC kickoff from the 27-yard line, Creekside hands the ball off to number 44, and he has a huge game. From the 47-yard line, Creekside's quarterback dials his own number up and has a large game up the middle. On the same Creekside drive, Creekside's quarterback throws a long pass for a strike into the end zone for a Creekside touchdown. The extra point was good. After the kickoff from the 30-yard line, Creekside's number 32 shows you how a linebacker really hit. Same Stevenson drive, Stevenson is forced to punt the ball. Number 22 mishandles the football, picks it up, and runs the ball down the field for a huge game. On the 18 yard line, Creekside's number 44 gets stonewalled by Stevenson's number 43. On the same Creekside drive, Creekside is unable to punch the ball in the end zone, so they attempt a long field goal, which is no good. From the 20-yard line, Stevenson quarterback calls his own number and goes down the sideline for a nice game. From the 44-yard line, Stevenson's quarterback throws a screenplay to number one, and he goes down the sideline for a nice game. After an exchange of punts from the 20 yard line, Stevenson throws a pass to number one. He runs into the end zone for a Stevenson touchdown. The extra point was no good. At halftime, the score was 7 to 14. Stevenson was leading.
We're about to begin the second half. Get ready for a crazy, wild second half. After a few exchanges of punts, Stevenson punts the ball. Number 22 catches the ball and returns it for a long run. After a creekside punt from the 40 yard line, Stevenson throws a long bomb pass to a receiver who receives it and catches it within the five yard line. Folks, this is a testament to how stout Creekside's defense is. Watch how Stevenson tries to score on Creekside's within the five yard line on four downs. Access was denied. Creekside takes possession. Creekside was on a mission. Watch out 44 takes the ball up the field for a large game. Folks, it's the beginning of the fourth quarter and it's about to get crazy up in here. From the 20 yard line, Creekside throws a touchdown into the end zone. 
from the kickoff, number seven receives the ball, takes it down the field for a huge gain. Maybe there is hope for Stevenson after all. On the very next play, Stevenson fumbles and Quickside recovers. Creekside drives the ball down the field, takes it into the end zone for a Creekside touchdown. The extra point was good. On the Creekside kickoff, number seven of Stevenson receives the ball, takes it down the field. I'm getting dizzy just watching this guy going back and forth. Say it isn't so. This touchdown is coming back due to a Stevenson penalty. On this Stevenson's possession on the 25 yard line, number two receives the ball, runs up the field, say it didn't so. Stevenson fumbled and Creekside recovered. Creekside takes possession and punches the ball into the end zone for a Creekside touchdown. The extra point was good. Well, folks, it was another outstanding football game. Creekside won 28 to 14. I only have one final thought. Turnovers lose games. And that's all I got to say about that. Thank you for tuning in to the High School Football Pigskin Show. Be sure to tune in to our next show on my channel, Morel Productions.